So with spring being just a couple of weeks away, a lot of us are in that mindset of what are the best fragrances for the spring and summer? If the hotter weather is upon us, and of course we are fans of the Marley House, what are the best spring and summer fragrances from the brand Parfum de Marley? I'm very eager to share my list with you very soon, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin today's episode and I let you know what my favorite spring and summer fragrances are from the brand Parfum de Marly, these are the top 10 best hot weather fragrances from Parfum de Marly. I want to start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of top 10 lists, reviews, giveaways, unboxings, or any other fragrance related content, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and please give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. So of course with that being said, this is going to be kind of a blended list, so there are some that are marketed for women. Most of the fragrances in this list are marketed for men. At the end of the day, you know what I say, they're all kind of unisex. Wear what you want, wear what makes you happy. So with that, let's just go ahead and jump into the list. The first one I want to talk about is the original Pegasus. Now, of course, there is one in oil form called Tola Pegasus, very hard to come by, that has a touch of oud in it. And of course, there's Pegasus Exclusive. The original is the one that is great for the hotter weather. So we're talking almond, jasmine. The jasmine just gives it that clean property that I think is so inviting. And of course, speaking about clean, you also have Valaya. Now, of course, this is marketed for women. You see that Coke bottle silhouette happening with the bottle there, but it's a beautiful fragrance. An appropriate amount of sweetness. There's a little bit of Madagascan vanilla in the dry down, if I remember correctly, but it has this brightness in the opening on account of the freshness and the citrus elements. And you know, it's a very bright, uplifting, zesty type of a fragrance and yes it's marketed for women but I personally really really enjoy it. Darlie. So Darlie I've mentioned this on my channel before it smells like a blend of Reflection for Men by Amouage and also Original Santal by Creed. This is the biggest hidden gem from the Marley brand. And the reason I love this one so much is because of that brightness, right? So if you're looking at a spring summer fragrance, but also maybe it's gonna be like a chilly afternoon, chilly evening, you want something with sustenance and a resolute nature, but at the same time, you want that brightness, that citrus element in there, Darlie is spectacular for that. And of course, from the Delina line, I had to mention one of them. <laughs> The one that I'm gonna mention here is Delina La Rose. So this one is very bright and it has this sort of grassy, earthy element. And La Rose pretty much means morning dew from what I've been told and what I read. And so with this fragrance, it's supposed to be evocative of, you know, that crisp quality, that freshness that you get in the morning after it rained overnight. And it is a more ethereal version of Delina. The lychee, the rose, the peony, it's just a beautiful, delicate fragrance and the vanilla is the most uh, sensual aspect of the fragrance, but you're gonna get most of that in Delina Exclusive. The next fragrance I wanna talk about is Habdan. Habdan is also very uplifting. I think it's more versatile. You can wear it any time of the year, to be honest with you, especially if you're wearing it indoors. But Habdan always had this calming presence about it. And I mentioned this on my channel in the past. It kind of reminds me of the smell of chamomile. So I think that aspect of it, it's like, there's never a bad time to wear it, right? Of course, there are some heavy hitters from the brand. I wouldn't dare put anything like Carlisle or Herod on this list. I wouldn't put Haltane or any of the other, you know, Kalan. Those are really, really dark, but Greenlee, phenomenal. This is a bright, fresh, citrusy and apple fragrance. So if you want something that's a little bit more fruity leaning, I think Greenlee is spectacular. And of course, I, I love the personality behind it. It's very fun. It's outgoing. It doesn't have this sort of timid presence that a lot of other fragrances from other brands do. I think the one thing about Parfum de Marly is all of their fragrances are out there, right? You're not going to get anything shy or timid or aloof. You're going to get fragrances that are very out there. And I admire that about the performance performance of the brand and the craftsmanship as well. We also have one of my favorites, Sedley. I've been a huge fan of Sedley since its release. Olivier Cresp composition, you have incense, you have mint, you have tons of citrus. Very easy to wear, very easy going. Sedley is a game changer and it still does very very well for the brand so I'm very happy for them as far as you know the success of the fragrance is concerned and sadly it's just wonderful for the hotter weather you know whenever we're talking about the hotter weather you know citrus is gonna come into play hey Galloway Galloway is phenomenal it's more abstract it's more of like this clean staticky white floral fragrance 
but I love that abstract quality about it. And I love that you can't quite place what it smells like when you smell it. Of course, the packaging and the color of the bottle does a, a good job of conveying the abstract nature of it and the fact that it is going to be a brighter release, the tabula rasa, if you will. And so it's a beautiful fragrance. Try it out, check it out for yourself, especially if you haven't tried it, because I know when we're talking about Marley, we're talking about Leighton and Herod, and there are a lot of fragrances that tend to get overlooked, and Galloway is one of them. Of course, one of my favorite spring and summer fragrances from the brand has always been Percival. The ice flower, the lavender, the aromatic properties, the woods, the freshness, tons of citrus. Percival is just very bright, uplifting, and as far as an office friendly fragrance is concerned, I think Percival is probably the best one on this list for the office. Pegasus also does incredibly well. If you're a lady, Valaya is phenomenal as well. And if you're looking for something with a little pizzazz, of course you wanna go with Darley, but unquestionably the best hot weather fragrance from Parfum de Marly. You guys already know what it is. Before I even started the video, it was no surprise. I don't think I'm curating this list to shock anybody or to surprise anybody. From what you've been reading online and what you've been hearing and the testimonials and the reviews, and they're all true, this one is finally their best hot weather fragrance and they did this with intention. It was quite deliberate and without a shadow of a doubt it is Perseus. Perseus has grapefruit, green mandarin, bergamot, ambergris, geranium. This stuff is incredibly bright. Bright, citrusy. It has blackcurrant buds joining forces with the ambergris in the dried down to almost give it like this resolute, musky, but in a clean way type of a vibe. You have dry woods, you have cashmere on, you have all of these magnetic ingredients. And of course, it's a bright orange like the sun. And that's what they're doing in their marketing campaign. Campaign. If you look at the adverts for this one online, it's all about sun, sun, sun. George Harrison would be very proud. Here comes the sun. It's a beautiful fragrance from Parfum de Marly and very appropriate timing on its release. So Marley, thank you. <laughs> Thank you for not releasing like a super heavy fragrance right before spring starts. It wouldn't make sense and anachronistic in a way, but in any case, 10 amazing spring and summer fragrances by Parfum de Marly. I'd like to know, what are your favorite spring and summer or hot weather fragrances from the Marley brand? Where you are, it could be possible that this isn't the time of the year where it's hot, right? So it depends on the climate and you know the geographic location. So let me know, what are your favorite hot weather fragrances from Parfum de Marly? Drop your comment down below. As always, I really appreciate your viewership and your support. And I want to mention if you took anything of value from this episode, hit subscribe, hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm. It would help out tremendously. Thanks again for watching. I love you all and we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode.